So let's talk about what is uh, the magic of code foils. Um, there's a lot of buzz ab about the code foils, and that comes from the fact that they are incredibly low drag with tremendous glide, like amazing glide and uh, slipperiness. And in order to understand what's going on and, and where the possible magic could be, I have calipers where I measure everything. And I've been measuring my foils for years and maintaining a spreadsheet because span and area don't tell the whole story. Uh, some brands measure by span, some measure by area. I happen to think that span is probably a better general indicator of the power of a foil. So I've created a spreadsheet where I, I sort by span. And I'm going to put that on the screen here shortly so you can see uh, how these compare to, to other foils. Uh, uh, to get to the point, these foils are thinner than anything I've ever owned or ever measured. The only thing close to this thickness is Mike's lab. Um, I have these digital calipers where I measure everything, find the uh, thickest point, I measure one inch off from the center line of the fuse to, to get clear of the transition that uh, foil companies put into their front wings for strength. So everything I've measured over the years is one inch off the center line. And this code 850 is 12 millimeters thick. Now you often see a lot of reviews of people looking at their foils and going, yeah, that's a thin foil. Unless you're using calipers, you're just uh, talking out your ass. Uh, this is 12 millimeters. The 720 is 11.5 millimeters. A Mike's Lab 700 is 11.9 millimeters. The code 980 is 13 millimeters. And I think that's what, why they're so low in drag and have so much glide. Now, typically when you get down to something that thin, it doesn't have low end. And I know this from measuring everything I've ever ridden. And when I, the thinnest thing I've ever owned prior to this was 14 millimeters and the low end was terrible. Uh, so I'm going to put on the screen right now and show you my spreadsheet with the various thicknesses. And we'll go over them. Now these are sorted by span. So if you start at the top, the Mike's Lab 700 has a span of 810, thickness 11.9. Gofoil RS1000, span 815, thickness 17.5. And that's, that's a magic surfing foil. Uh, very fun, good, good range. The AFS Silk 850, 16 millimeters thick. Code 720, 11.5. Axis 840, 15 millimeters thick. Uh, GoFoil GT1250, super easy, fun surfy wing, 22 millimeters thick. Code 850, 12 millimeters thick. Um, get down to the AFS Silk 1050, 17.9 thick. Uh, you can see that 
These are unusually thin, all the way down to the lift 150 HAX, 15 milliliters thick. So I think the secret sauce is the thinness. But you would think, well, thinness, it would have no low end. It would be really hard to get on foil. So I think what they've done is they're using a, a knack of foil section or whatever foil section that has unusually high lift for something so thin. So these things take off like something 17, 18 millimeters thick and have the drag like the what I would imagine the best Mike's Lab foil has. So that's where the glide is coming from and the pump combined with their amazing low end. And I think that's the secret sauce of the code foil. Now with this amazing low end, is it a beginner foil? Absolutely not. Uh, you need to be a good enough foiler to know how to make speed. Uh, but if you're, you know, a halfway decent foiler, you can make the speed. The other area where it would trip up a beginner is because of all this speed and glide, uh, you're going to body slam your, your wing on a jibe if you don't have good wing handling skills because you're going to be going around the jibe so darn fast. So if you're an intermediate foiler or above, you can handle these and, and, t and get to the point where you, you just have ridiculous uh, a glide and pump, and uh, it's quite amazing, really.